So first, we need to make sure that Discord is actually fully closed. So we're going to click on the arrow in the bottom right, and then we're going to find Discord, right click on it, and then click on quit Discord, which will fully close Discord. Once you do that, we're going to head over to search and type in Discord and head over into Discord again. Once you're on Discord, we're going to head over to settings, and then we're going to click on voice and video. Once you're on it, we're going to scroll down until we find video codec. You want to turn off everything here and then see if that works for you. If it's not working, then we're going to turn it back on. And then we're going to scroll down even more. And then we're going to turn off use our advanced technology to capture your screen. Turn that off. And then turn off use an experimental method to capture audio from applications. Turn that off. And then see if that works. If it's still not working, then you can just turn everything back on again. For the second method, we're going to uninstall Discord and clear the cache. So we're going to head over to search and type in add or remove programs, click on it. Once you're on it, we're gonna find Discord, click on the three dots, click on uninstall and uninstall Discord. Once it's been uninstalled, we're gonna head back into search and type in percent app data percent. Click on enter. And then we're gonna head over into the Discord file and these are all the cache files. So you wanna click on control A and delete all of them. I'm not gonna do it because it works for me, but you do it. So once you delete all of them, you wanna right click on the recycle bin, click on empty recycle bin and then click on yes. Now you just want to reinstall Discord again. If that's still not working for the third method, we're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once we're on it, we're going to expand display adapters and then we're going to right click on our graphics card, click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. If it says that the best one has been installed, we're going to go back and then click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list. And then you want to install the second one that will come up and click on next and see if that works. If it's still not working, then the problem might just be with your computer or your laptop. It might just be too slow and you might need to upgrade it. 